Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about Luminar 4, a photo editing software that uses artificial intelligence to enhance your images with just a few clicks of a button. Is it really a Photoshop killer? Let's find out. So if you're a photographer just like me, and you're looking for a good photo editing software that's very intuitive and easy to use, then this software that I'm about to show you might just be the one that you're looking for. Especially if you're a beginner in photo editing, and you're intimidated or struggling to use Lightroom or Photoshop. This software is called Luminar 4, which is from Skyloom. If you're familiar with Aurora HDR for editing HDR images, this one is made by them as well. One good thing about this software is that you can use it as a standalone software or use it as a Lightroom or Photoshop plugin. And oh by the way, this video is not sponsored by Skyloom. I purchased the software out of my own pocket because it got me really curious and interested in using the software. So we'll try to edit two photos, one portrait and one landscape, and see how good the software really is. I will not go into detail on how to use the software. This is just an overview of what it can do. Alright, so let's open up Luminar 4 and start editing. Let's open up the first photo. This is a landscape image from fine art photographer Tim Needham of timphotos.com. I'll put his link down in the description. This is a raw photo of the Grand Canyon. So if you look at the bottom, there is a panel called Luminar Looks. I guess these are one-click filters or presets similar to Lightroom. If you click here, it will show you all the Luminar Looks collection. You have Essentials, Street, Landscape, Portrait, Lifestyle, and etc. Let's go first with the Essentials and click on the AI Image Enhancer. So what it does is use artificial intelligence to scan the entire scene and try to adjust the overall look of the image on what it thinks looks good. So with just one click, you've already edited this photo. What do you think? Did the AI do a good job? You can click the eye icon here to see the before and after. This is the before. This is the after. You can also adjust manually as you would in Lightroom and Photoshop. You just need to drag these sliders over here. Let's switch over to Landscape Luminar Looks. I believe these presets are specifically made for landscape images. Another amazing thing you can do here in Luminar is sky replacement. Let's try a few presets here. As you can see, with one click of a button, you can immediately replace the sky. Something you cannot do in Photoshop. Let's go with Sunset 1 here. Now let's try to add sun rays. See? Look at that. With just a click of a button, you have added sun rays to the image. So this is the before, after. Is it amazing or what? Now a new feature added to Luminar 4 recently is the augmented sky, which you can add different overlays to your image. As you can see here, you can add birds, the moon, even mountains. The AI on this software is just amazing. So this is editing landscape images in Luminar 4. Now let's proceed to editing a portrait photo. This next image is from James Fotisto. Link to his Instagram is down on the description. Again, let's start using the AI image enhancer under the Essentials Luminar Looks. This is the before. This is the after. Let's zoom in a little bit. Before. After. Again, you can manually tweak the lighting and colors on the adjustments panel on the right. Now let's reset the adjustments we've made and let's use the portrait luminar looks. Click on the AI face enhancer below. What do you think? This is the before. After. Let's zoom in. Before. After. Let's reset the adjustments again and this time try female portrait because why not? Before, after. 
Let's zoom in. Before. After. Do you see the difference? I noticed that the face was slimmed down and also tried to smoothen the face a little bit. Again, with just a click of a button we were able to edit this portrait literally in 2 seconds. Of course if you don't like the AI doing the work for you, you can edit it yourself. Let's reset the adjustments again and now let's go ahead and click the face icon right here. So under the AI Skin Enhancer, we have some sliders here for the amount and shine removal. Let's try to move the sliders here. I'll crank up the amount to 100 just so we can see the difference. But in a real editing situation, of course you should never overdo it. Let's also remove the shine a little bit. Okay, so this is the before. This is the after. What do you think? The artificial intelligence has done a pretty good job on selecting the face and retouching the skin. Now there's another section here called AI Portrait Enhancer. Let's play around with the sliders. Let's add face light, eye whitening, eye enhance, dark circle removal. Let's slim the face a little bit. Enlarge the eyes. And let's just keep the rest down here. Okay, so this is the before. And this is the after. Pretty impressive if you ask me. Of course, I wouldn't edit like this. I'm just demonstrating the sliders that you can adjust to edit portraits. Always try to retouch the face as subtle as possible. To make it look realistic. And try not to make the subject turn into a totally different person. And that, my friends, is Luminar 4. What do you guys think? Are you impressed? Is it a Photoshop killer? In my opinion, this software is very powerful and if used properly, it can be a great tool in helping you make your photos look amazing. I'll now be adding Luminar 4 to my editing workflow. And on my future videos, I'll try to show you how I use it. There is actually a 7-day free trial of this software. Just click over here and select download trial. So give it a shot and if it works for you, then go ahead and purchase it. If not, then you can just stick with the old Lightroom or Photoshop. Okay, so that's all for now. Hit the like button, subscribe, and click on the notification bell icon so you will be notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching.